do we have here? Hey, what's up guys? Klaus Nix here, and today we're gonna to be taking a look at a Muscle Magazine. Muscle Insider in particular, doesn't really matter what Muscle Magazine we look at because they're all pretty well garbage. No, this did not actually show up in my mailbox. It was a free magazine they were giving away at my gym. So I just grabbed one. Now, I've been looking at this magazine every single day at work and I've never actually looked inside of it. I am coming into this totally fresh with fresh eyes. And the reason that I wanna talk about this is because this is the magazines that, that you see on shelves in stores. This is what the public sees. So how our culture defines health and fitness is largely comprised of what we're exposed to, what they put on their front cover, okay? So this is what men are gonna constantly be exposed to and what they're gonna, you know, they're gonna develop their own opinions about how they feel they should look. They're gonna develop feelings of guilt, shame, or, you know, in some cases, motivation, which is the best case. So let's start off with the front cover. So the front cover is what is going to probably make or break whether or not you're going to buy this magazine or not. So the first thing you're attracted to is this bodybuilder on the front who I'm going to get it out of the way. He's unnatural. It's pretty obvious. It's not really a naturally achieved state that he's in right now. Boom. First thing your eyes go to. Second thing your eyes go to. This hot babe in the bottom right. That's cool and everything. And I respect women's bodybuilding for sure. It's super respectable. But putting a bikini model on the front cover of a muscle magazine when you know you're trying to attract a certain audience of men, you know, it's not really a secret why they do that. First words we read, torch fat fast. Now we all want to lose fat, that's the dream. But the key word here is fast, all right? So someone who wants to buy a magazine, you know, they want that fast, immediate results. They want to be satisfied quickly. So you see, torch fat fast, it's like sweet. If I buy this magazine, maybe I can get that. I'm gonna learn how to do that. The second thing you see, uh, muscle gains in the gym new growth quick results. There's a trend here torch fat fast new growth quick results All right, so we see that immediate gratification reward system You know, that's the first thing that we see the way to get ripped now This is obviously a play on words way as in the whey powder the protein powder I mean, it's just a simple play on words, but it's also saying build muscle and lose fat using whey powder, using a supplement that they're selling. So you gotta buy what they're offering if you want to build muscle and lose fat. And I wanna go back to this torch fat fast. Let's see if there actually is an ultimate fat loss routine in here. There might be, but I'm, and I'm curious to see what the ultimate fat loss routine is. Like I'm, I'm curious, I didn't learn that in university. No one's ever showed that to me. I'm curious as to what the ultimate is. I'm not gonna take this long in every page, but obviously it's the front cover, so I wanted to dive into it. Okay, let's turn to the first page. Limited flexibility, joint problems, stiffness, aches, tenderness. Okay, they're selling a supplement here. So the first thing we see is an ad. Uh, if you were to buy these things, buy the supplement, you're gonna improve your muscle joint flexibility, mobility, clinically dosed. Okay, uh, that makes me a little bit nervous. What do they mean by that? It's just, it's just an ad, not a big deal. But let's see what's on the second page. We've got an article here. Uh, BCAs, backed by science, highly effective and delicious. So we have another ad here. Then we have a bodybuilding athlete here who is representing this supplement. Okay, so this is just talking about the supplement, what the supplement does. Does it work? And I'm assuming they're gonna say, yes, it does work. Look at this guy, he's huge. Of course this all works. Immunicore comes in five amazing flavors. Fruit punch, blast, pineapple, mango, blue raspberry, key lime, white grape. A white grape, what the hell is a white grape? New flavor, yeah, that's a new fruit. They must have invented that for the supplement. That's incredible. Yo, what? With the scoop lock? Never lose your scoop again? I'm sold, I'm sold. Well, I don't know if I needed some BCAs, but now that I know I'm not gonna lose my scoop anymore, I'm sold. Next page, football, sweet. See CFL gloves? I'm interested, what's this about? Uh, oh, whey powder, superior athlete. Okay, so there's another supplement ad. You know, two thirds of this is just a picture of this football player walking out onto the field. Um, I guess that's supposed to motivate you to buy the protein, I don't know. Next page, some <laughs> roided up bodybuilder giving it all on the leg press. I love it. I'd love to see a guy like that size under a barbell. They're always on the leg press, man. It's wasted potential. Wage war in the gym. Max out. Max. True performance enhancement. Amplify strength. Yes! Do you see this guy? Do you see this guy? If I get max out, I'm gonna have powerful energy, explosive strength, laser focus. Laser focus! Can someone explain to me the difference between laser focus and just regular focus? <laughs> <laughs> is there a difference? Next page. Oh, first thing we see is uh, more supplements. Now in Canada. Well, thanks for including us in the mix, buddies. Canada's largest Fitbo Expo. Cool, I didn't actually know about this. Uh, looks like it's mostly bodybuilding stuff. Oh, there's some Olympic lifting. Strongman! 
my boy. Okay, I'm actually curious about this. I might look into this. Next we have the content page. Oh man, we're 16 pages in and now we're getting the content page. So we've been looking at 15 pages of ads so far. Look at this guy, pre-workout supplement I'm assuming. You wanna look like this? You want these arms, boy? You need you need the supplement, Tori. You wanna ever look like this guy? Need the supplement. It's rough, I know, I know, but you know, you gotta spend the money if you want the results. Next up, is this a, sorry, is this a supplement magazine? I'm just, and all we're seeing is supplements so far. Here we have a carb supplement. I actually like carb supplements. I don't know why carbs are seen as the enemy in the world. Carbs are pretty great. Like I've, I'm actually consuming a high carb diet right now just for my athletics and it's been awesome. I haven't been gaining weight. I don't know why carbs are the enemy. Uh, but anyway, this is a supplement. I'm not promoting it. It's pretty cool that you can just consume carbs. Like I don't know anything about this product in particular, but carbs are high performance training fuel. You know, I can definitely get behind carbs as training fuel. It's like feeding your muscles with a fire hose. <laughs> I, can't, I, I can't even imagine what that would be like. Feeding your muscles with a fire hose. You just stick the fire hose in there and is that supposed to feel good? I don't know. Hashtag swallow the cell. Hash, hashtag swallow the cell. Okay, here we have another model, uh, Team Magnum Superstar. He's a superstar of uh, Magnum. And what do we have here? The world's most effective fat burner. You trying to tell me if I take these pills, I'm gonna look like this guy? Oh, that's pretty good. Will I be able to handle these? 25s though. Do me a favor, if you uh, go into your your cabinets and if you have any uh, fat burners, you can just go ahead, open those guys up and just dump them into the toilet. Actually, that's not good for the environment, I guess. You can pour it in the garbage. It's not as funny but uh, or dramatic, but it will do the job. Next page, protein ad. What do we have here? Muscle Insider 2017 model search. Okay, so if you're looking to be a, a model for Muscle Insider, you're too late because it's 2018. Recover faster with size on. So you see here again the word faster, faster, fast acting, quick, immediate. You know, just pay the money, get the results fast. It's easy, it's really easy to sell things when you make all these promises. Accelerates protein synthesis, increases power and performance. Yeah, you get the idea. Okay, here we have an article with some information about liking your body. That's cool, I get behind this page. <laughs> Immediately, you've got this monster, another mutant monster. Okay, so I just quickly read this article about fat loss and uh, I thought he was gonna sell something in here, but he didn't. So it's actually just some good advice on how to start the fat loss. So this is actually a pretty uh, good article as well. Training, how to train your calves. Yeah, very, very bodybuilding-esque. <laughs> oh my goodness, that's some next level stuff right there. Oh, this is cool. Okay, this is an article about vitamins. That's interesting. I think more people should know more stuff about vitamins, uh, myself included. Which intervals are the most effective for weight loss? Okay, so there's, you're gonna see a lot of stuff about what's the best. Is this the best? Is this the best? Is this the best? I'm not necessarily saying, I haven't read it, but that this guy is wrong. You gotta, I think you should be careful when you say the most effective because everybody's a unique individual and everyone has unique needs and different methods are gonna work best for different kinds of people. So be cautious anytime you see the word best or most effective because that's not necessarily always the case and you might try whatever method he's suggesting over and over and over and it might not work for you and then you might give up. So just take it with a grain of salt if you're reading anything under the title most effective. The thing that I don't like about this, and this is a really good example, is that here we have kind of an attempted natural remedy type thing, apple and vinegar that make this look very natural and whole. Yeah, we got a doctor with a tie, looks good to me. And then on the next page, we have a supplement. And this whole thing sounds like it comes straight out of a lab report. I can barely understand the scientific words in here. There are things in here I've never even heard of. Concentration of TNFA and ILK6. And I don't know, you make it sound sciencey, and I guess you've, you've convinced me. And then here we, <laughs> here we have an ad for water. You can't even just drink the water out of your tap. You gotta buy the water. You gotta buy from Jackson Springs. But I do like that there's actual food and vegetables and not a supplement container here. So we'll take that one. Eat fruits and veggies for a better life. Yo, let's just close this magazine now. Nice to see that there's a couple blocks off here for something that's actually realistic about being healthy. Okay, here we have some program design tips for the results you want. So I'm gonna quickly go through these and see if any of these are valid. So we got the five general principles of training. Overload, that's good. Progression, that's good. Use-disuse principle of reversibility. If you don't use it, you lose it. That's good. 
Specificity, good. Individual differences in unique biology. Boom, that's good. Three specific principles of training. Specific adaptation to impose demand. That's for sure good. The inverse relationship of sets and reps. That's good. Resting between sets. Boom, boom, boom. You would learn a lot from this page. These are probably the most valuable two pages in this entire magazine. This is all pretty good stuff, basic stuff. Here we have a pre-workout ad, pre-workout ad. So this is about cranking up your metabolism and fighting fat. Okay, so these are all tips about fat loss. Got an ad and then we've got something here about contest prep for bodybuilders, okay. Okay, and here we've got some exercises. You know, there's a woman doing these and I know like hip thrusts, like some of these come across as very feminine exercises, but a lot of men should do these. I should do hip thrusts. These are a great exercise. There's not a lot of good exercises for locking out your hips. Just because you'll see a female model doing uh, hip thrust does not mean it's not a masculine exercise, but this is just an example of the fitness industry getting women to do things like this and then you assume that some exercises are for women where you have women workouts and men workouts. I think that's garbage. I think everybody could do all of these, but obviously they're trying to market to women. So I get it. Here we have an ad. And then here's a bodybuilder saying that she did this all with supplements. Wow, well they were such a great help. Give me my money. Protein cookies, now I can get behind this. This looks freaking good. Here's this monster bodybuilder giving advice on benefits and drawbacks of training to failure. Okay, that's probably good to know. And he's a mutant athlete. So he's another one of these guys who's on steroids but promotes a supplement, which I think is also garbage because you're, you're promoting a body like this saying that um, it's the supplements helped you get there, but in reality, it was the needle you were sticking in your glutes. Not to cancel out or the hard work, but it's kind of cheating. You're, you're making your body do unnatural things to achieve, achieve the results you want. Uh, I hate reading articles from guys who look like this, because I just like, all I can see is like, dude, you're on steroids. Like, I don't want your advice. Talk to me when you do it naturally, and, and I'll, I'll consider what you have to say. But until then, you shouldn't be giving advice to people who are natural, at least. People who are on gear should give advice to other people on gear. The right way to get ripped. I'm gonna tell you right now, your protein supplement isn't making the difference between you losing fat and getting muscle. This is a big article on why you should buy their protein powder. Here's another mutant ad. Like, come on already, we get it. And we got Arnold. Arnold, I, I love you. I know I'm not a big advocate for unnatural bodybuilding, but you gotta love and you gotta respect that classic bodybuilding man like you know it's not the lifestyle for me but you gotta you gotta respect these guys who who work so hard and get on stage and they look awesome i mean look at these guys they look like superheroes <laughs> what this is a birthday cake supplement i love how they try and make it look so masculine and tough and this label looks so cool look at the x it's been ripped with somebody's claws birthday cake flavor now with sprinkles I will never understand it. Who are you marketing to? A 20 year old who's trying to get jacked or an eight year old at a birthday party? Here we have a bodybuilder giving us his shoulder routine. Um, probably just some pretty basic stuff. Yeah, we got lateral raises, dumbbell press, shrugs, easy bar, upright rows, front raises, and rear delts. Yeah, this is the most basic shoulder stuff you can do. He's also on steroids, so <laughs> just because he doesn't have any kind of secret shoulder routine or anything mind blowing on how to get shoulders like these, he's just got some unnatural gear that is giving him those results faster. But you just gotta be patient because you're not gonna achieve the results as fast. You can build muscle doing overhead press and doing upright rows and shrugs for sure. It's just gonna take you a little bit longer if you're staying natural. And we've got another ad, we've got a bodybuilder, we've got the supplements and we've got quick, rapid, quick, you know, all the same catchy words. It's all the same. I could make the same jokes about every single supplement ad. Okay, well, this is cool. So here we have a pregnant woman who had kids and then ended up being a bikini model. I think that's pretty awesome. That's that's inspiring even to to go from such a an overweight state and an unnatural state for you to losing all of that baby fat and coming out of it looking even better than you did before. That's pretty inspiring. And I think that like pregnancy is like a good niche to, to look into. It's something I want to learn more about because I think that I, a lot of women, it makes or breaks them after they get pregnant, that they're not able to lose the fat again, downward spiral. But on the other side of that, you have women who come out of it and end up staying super healthy. Bodybuilder, bodybuilder, company spotlight, high tech pharmaceuticals. That makes me nervous. I don't, I don't even know why anything high tech pharmaceuticals should be in a health and fitness magazine. This, 
this almost gives me goosebumps. This shouldn't be in here. This shouldn't, when you think health and fitness, you don't want any of these mental images to come into your mind. You don't want the word pharmaceuticals unless you're sick. Fat loss, okay, we've got an article on being in a caloric deficit, some classic bodybuilding stuff. And here we, <laughs> here we have another massive athlete promoting some kind of supplement, like this supplement got him to where he is today. <laughs> you can see he's having a very hard time doing these machine bicep curls i'm sure that's what he did to get those arms maybe he did i don't know he's on juice but he looks like he's having a pretty hard time and uh probably he's also having a hard time finding a hat that fits his head what do we have here we got okay we've got uh maximum focus so i, mean, I am curious what's what the difference is between maximum focus and laser focus that we saw earlier and here we have mental focus blood flow if your blood if your blood wasn't flowing before it will after this can water help you lose body fat? I'll save you some time and I'm gonna say yes. And we've got a supplement ad, supplement ad, supplement ad, supplement ad. Yeah, it's the end of the magazine, so these are all pretty much just ads now. And then the last page is an ad for a pre-workout. Okay, so we just went through the whole magazine. Um, I didn't see the ultimate fat loss routine. I was really excited to see that, and it's on the front cover. We saw a shoulder routine and we saw uh, an ab routine and we saw just some basic tips and stuff but we didn't see anything in here about the ultimate fat loss routine we just saw tips and tricks on how to uh, take supplements we did get a bit of tips on basic fat loss which I thought was good but uh, we didn't see the ultimate fat loss routine so that's a little bit disappointing a little bit misleading on the cover there okay so what's the moral of the story here um, well we went through this magazine together because I wanted to help you see things through the eyes of somebody who kind of can uh, see through a lot of the deception and the marketing and actually help you pull value from these magazines where you can. So uh, I thought that there were two pages in here that were really good that I would cut out and keep about how to make a workout program. There's some pretty good practical tips in there. So I'd say maybe four or six pages of this magazine were actually resourceful. I know magazines are kind of becoming less and less because of uh, the internet and there's online articles for everything now, but you're still going to see these in stores and I still want to um, advise caution before buying a magazine like this because A, you're going to waste your money because this, this is 90, I would probably say 90 to 95 percent ads for supplements and you definitely don't need supplements if you want to be healthy or you want to be fit. So anytime you see the best and the most effective and secret or the trick. There's there's no secrets and there's no tricks. You see tips, that's good, but you see secrets, just filter it out because there's no secret. Someone might know something that you don't know, but that doesn't make it a secret. It just means they know something you don't know. I can tell you that the fitness industry is not collectively keeping secrets and choosing who learns what and the real truths and all of that garbage. And I know that I'm being hypercritical and I'm not saying anything about these athletes or their character and I'm not negating the fact that they put in a lot of work to get the bodies that they have and, and the work that they do put in is respectable. But I am saying that this is the magazine that you see on a shelf that is being advertised for beginners to walk by and you know, hey, I want to look like this guy, this guy looks pretty good. And then boom, this new beginner who's trying to get into health and fitness is exposed to like 60 pages of supplement ads. That's the problem. And you have roided up bodybuilders saying, I took these supplements and look at me, but that's not the reality. That's going to do it for this video, guys. Thank you so much for watching. If you liked the video, please subscribe. It would really help me grow my channel. Like the video if you liked it. Boss, thanks out.